All right, my little chickadees, this is our math lesson for the day. It's going to be really short and sweet because I can't be there to see whether you guys get it or not, okay? But I do want to introduce you to it, so I hope you're paying attention. I need you guys to stop talking, right? Listening ears on. We're focused and we're paying attention. I need you in your seats watching, okay? I just want to introduce this to you so that way when we work on uh, subtraction on Thursday, you'll understand how to do it, okay? But today, guys, we are going to be working with missing add-ins. Remember, an add-in is uh, one of the numbers that you're trying to add together. So eight is an add-in, and look, we have a missing add-in. I don't know what that number is. And there's 10, but let's solve this one together, okay? So I know that I have eight plus something equals 10. We talked about this yesterday. Hmm. How can I solve this? Let's use our count on method. So I have eight, right? So I have eight in my head. Let's keep counting until I get to 10. Eight, nine, 10. Two. So two is my missing number. Eight plus two equals 10. All right, my friends, so we're going to be doing a lot of this today, all right? This is today's objective for math. Today, I will be able to use objects and pictorial models to solve addition word problems. Okay, we're going to be working with our friend part, part, whole today, all right? So remember, guys, part, part, whole is the, is this, uh, I guess I wouldn't call it a graphic organizer, but you can set, you can put your whole at the top or the bottom, and then you have your two parts that equal the whole, okay? This is usually the one that we work with right here. You see it down here? Part, part, whole, all right? We're gonna be working a lot with this today. So let's read this word problem. Mrs. Garcia had $9. Her mom gave her six more dollars. How much money does Miss Garcia have now? All right, so we know Miss Garcia had $9 already and her mom gave her six more dollars. So that means are we adding or subtracting? Six more. We're adding, right? Okay, so it looks like I'm adding nine plus six, right? How much money does Miss Garcia have now? So I have part, I have one part, nine dollars, because I know she had nine dollars. Do I know the second part? She got six more dollars, right? So nine plus six, we can do the count on method in our head. We can use our dots or a number line. But my friends, we're gonna add nine plus six or we can decompose six into two numbers to see which one of those numbers adds to nine to make 10. And then we're gonna do 10 plus that number. We did this yesterday, it was kind of hard, okay? Decomposing is difficult, but that's another way you can solve this problem. But nine plus six, hmm. I'm gonna do the count on method. So I have nine in my head. I'm gonna count to six. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So my answer should be 15. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My whole is 15, so my answer is 15. That's how you use part, part, whole. Let's do another one. We got a 10 bag, we got a bag with 10 oranges. Then we got four more. How many do we have in all? So I see a lot of my keywords here. So it looks like I had 10 oranges already. So that's one part. And then we got 10, I mean, four more. Am I adding or subtracting? We got four more. Adding, right? So I think I found my second part. 10 plus four, they wanna know in all, how many do we have in all? Remember guys, keywords in all means that you're adding. So 10 plus 14, all right, so let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10 plus four is 14, all right, part, part, whole. All right, guys, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find one of the missing parts because a lot of our problems are gonna have one part and they're gonna have the whole, 
but we don't know what that second part is, okay? And that's what we're gonna try to solve today, but I just wanna introduce you to it since I can't see whether you really get it or not. So let's watch this short video that's gonna show us how to find that missing part. Pay attention. Missing Addons, finding a missing part. What is a missing part? This is a part-part-whole model. The top shows the whole, or the total. The bottom shows the two parts that add together to make the whole. So in this problem, it shows that we have 4 plus something equals 10. Here's a word problem that matches. I got 10 balloons at the fair. Four of the balloons were green. The rest were red. So how many were red? I'm going to draw 10 circles to represent the 10 that I know I have in all. Now, I know that four were green, so I'm going to draw four green balloons. The rest were red, so I'm going to fill in the rest with red balloons. So do you know what the missing part is? Hmm. I can add to solve this problem. Four green balloons plus six red balloons equals 10 balloons in all. Or I can subtract 10 balloons in all minus the four green balloons equals six red balloons. So the missing part was six. Here's one you can try on your own. My little sister got three pink balloons at the fair. Then she got some more yellow balloons. Now she has five balloons in all. How many are yellow? So what is the whole? Five. We know that there are five in all. And what part do we know? We know that three of the balloons are pink. We need to figure out how many are yellow. Hmm. Do you know the answer? Let's see. I know she has five balloons. I know three are pink. So three plus something equals five. Or five minus three equals something. What is it? Did you say two? If so, you're right. So let's review. If you have a problem where you know the whole, you know a part, and you need to figure out the missing part, you can add to find the answer by counting up. Or you can take the whole, subtract the part that you know, and you'll end up with the missing part. Great job! Keep practicing these problems and you'll be a missing part expert in no time. All right, do you guys see that? That was very important because we're gonna be doing a lot of that today, okay? So here we go. Julian had a bag of seven red and green gummy worms. If three were red, how many were green? Okay, so let's solve this. All right, do we know our whole? We do, right? What's our whole? Seven. Right, Julian had seven red and green gummy worms. Three were red. Do we know one of our parts? Three, right? So we have three red gummy worms. How many were green? All right, so I know three plus something equals seven. Let's do our count on method. Let's try that part first. So we have three. Four, four, five, six, seven. So three plus four equals seven. We found our missing part. Or if you want, remember, you can subtract the whole, one of your parts from the whole. So our whole is seven. And we know one of our parts is three. So we can subtract three from seven. So seven, our whole, minus Three, one of our parts, equals the missing part. So seven minus three. You can use your dots, a number line, or you can count backwards if you want, or put up seven fingers. Take four down. One, two, three, four. 
Or we can take three down, sorry. One, two, three. We're left with four, right? Seven minus three equals four. So guys, if you know the whole and you know one of the parts, you can count on until you get to that whole number or you can take your whole, subtract it by the part that you know, and that's gonna give you that missing part. Let's do one more. Chloe had 10 toy dolls. Seven dolls had blue dresses. How many dolls had pink dresses? Do we know our whole? 10, right? 10's our whole. And seven dolls had blue dresses. Do we know one of our parts? Seven, right? So we have a missing part. We got to find it. So remember, you can count on to find this missing part. So let's try that part first. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got to ten. One, two, three. Our missing part is three. Or you can subtract. You get your whole and subtract the part that you know. So we have our whole, which is 10, and subtract it by the part that we know, and it's seven. 10 minus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're left with three, so we know our missing part is three. Okay, you see how we did that, guys? Last one. Keegan had five toy cars. He had some white ones and one purple car. How many white cars did he have? So we know our whole, right? He had five toy cars. And he had some white ones and one purple one. Do we know one of our parts? The purple one, right? He had one. Oh, I have a missing part. Let's count on, right, to find our missing part. So we have one, two, three, four, five. What's our missing part? One, two, three, four. Our missing part's four. One plus four equals five. And remember, guys, you can also take your whole and subtract the part that you know. So we have five minus one, because we know that part. Five minus one is four. There you go, we found our missing part. Okay, my friends, I just wanted to introduce that to you. All right, we're gonna try to practice that some more tomorrow. Be good. Listen, remember, I do not want a messy room. Make sure all the trash is picked up. We need to make sure our desks are wiped and clean. We don't want germs, right? No germs. Keep your masks up. Listen to whoever's in charge. I want those clips going up, not down. All right? Jade and my pencil collector, you need to collect those pencils. All right? And uh, Layla, sharpen those pencils. And my friends, I want a clean, neat room. And do not take out the papers from the yellow folders. Keep those papers inside the yellow folders. All right, my friends, because I want to see your work. Keep it neat and clean. I do not want a mess. Keep those papers in there. And I need you guys working because I'm going to check those folders. All right, guys, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.